degree and reveals to us that the 12 signs of the zodiac are illustrated and a tau, T-A-U, tau cross, encompassed by a serpent, is in the east, where the sun rises. The master retires to call upon God and then returns bearing a symbol of salvation, being a brazen serpent entwined about the tau cross. It is given thereafter to the candidate as a symbol of faith, repentance, and mercy. Now, once again, if you're honest, you can see the conflict between the degrees of masonry in the Bible. The Bible warns against astrology, yet the lodge is set up in such a way as to correspond with the twelve signs of the zodiac, which is astrology. We also notice that the symbol of salvation is the brazen serpent. Once again, Christ is set aside for another symbol of salvation. The Bible specifies that the serpent represents Satan, but masonry uses the serpent as a symbol of salvation. It was a symbol of salvation one time in the wilderness, in the book of Numbers. And that salvation wasn't from sin, it was from physical death, a physical death that was being inflicted in part because of the Hebrew people still fooling around with the Egyptian pagan gods that they brought with them out of Egypt. If you don't believe that, go back and read your Old Testament again and read it carefully this time. In conjunction with the serpent, let's consider the Masonic apron. We've got just a few minutes left on the program today, and let's consider this uh, Masonic apron. Wilmshurst writes, quote, Brethren, I charge you to regard your apron as one of the most precious and speaking symbols of our order. That's uh, volume 2, page 38. I find this statement quite intriguing. Because you remember when Adam and Eve sinned, they sewed together an apron of fig leaves. But we find that God was not pleased with the aprons, and he made them coats of skin to clothe them. Genesis chapter 3, verses 7 and 21. But, Wade indicates that in craft masonry and its connection, the apron is the only proper and possible clothing, page 38. In other words, the only possible and proper clothing is one that God already said displeased him. In the first degree of masonry, the candidate is given an unadorned white apron, which indicates purity of soul. In the second degree, blue rosettes are added to the apron to indicate that progress has been made in regeneration. In the third degree, quote from Wilmhurst, still further progress is emblematized by the increased blue adornments of the apron, as also by its silver tassels, and the silver serpent is the emblem of divine wisdom, Genesis chapter 3, knitting the soul's new made vesture together. Now, how do you like that? The newly initiated Mason is instructed that his white apron is the most precious symbol of Masonry and that it represents purity. We must remember, however, this apron is a symbol. What then is the real meaning behind this object? To find out, we've got to return to mythology. Pike notes that the god Jupiter Ammon's picture was painted with the sign of the ram or lamb, Pike, page 407. He mentions that Jupiter Ammon is the same as Osiris, Adonai, Adonis, Achaes, and the other sun gods. Hutchinson also notes that Jupiter Ammon is painted with horns, page 82, and that he is the same as Baal or Moloch. See First and Second Kings. Adonis, whom the ancient authors call Osiris, his ceremonies, quote, consisted in clothing the initiate with the skin of a white lamb, and in this we see the origin of the apron of white sheepskin used in masonry, according to Albert Pike. So the apron was used in connection with the ceremonies of Osiris, and this mason is the only proper clothing according to weight, and you're telling me you're part of a Christian organization and a Christian outfit when you join the Lodge? You are not. Be not deceived is a commandment by God. And we've done our best on the program today, the program last time, and God willing, the program next time, and maybe even the time after, we have done our best to show you clearly and plainly what you're dealing with in the Masonic Lodge so that you can please God by getting out of it. Amen and amen. Don't call the station manager. He didn't 
uh, script this program. Don't call the station manager. He didn't present this material. If you've got anything to say, our address is 199 Damascus Road, D-A-M-A-S-C-U-S. D-Land, just like it sounds, D-E-L-A-N-D, D-Land, Florida. The zip code number, 32724. That mailing address is in the United States of America. We love you enough to tell you the truth. We hope you love us, love God, love the Bible enough to receive it. Until next time, I'm Brother James. May the Lord richly bless you, and good day.